Hey Darren, Isotonic Studios. You're here every year. Well, third year now. Uh, proud that we've actually got our own stand. We've got Ableton over in the corner and uh, we're representing ourselves, myself and Mark Towers from the team. So yeah, we've uh, we brought as many buttons and knobs and controllers and everything that we could. Um, so we're showing off some new stuff today, uh, but we've uh, focused on some of the old bits as pieces as well. We've got the DJ Tech Tools MIDI Fighter Twister. A box of knobs if I ever saw it one. It is a box of knobs and it's got great MIDI feedback on the knobs and we're using it with Clipex Pro and the bindings feature. It's only one set of knobs effectively, but you can switch between different mappings. So the same MIDI message is intercepted by Ableton Live at a higher level and can be programmed using text effectively and you create what's called bindings and switch between those at will. Wow, that looks dense, but... It is dense, but it's a very simplistic uh, syntax and once you've done one project, the rest just flows out really easily. Um, I, I've got it very simply set up that my two MIDI fighter twisters are looking after what's 8, 16, uh, 32, 32 parameters and I switch between the banks. Right. But then on the fourth button, I can switch it so it looks after a channel strip on the, on the track that I'm focused on, and I can use it to focus on any device by name. So if I have it in the first position, it will pick it up, or in the seventh position, it will pick it up. Oh, interesting, that's handy. Right. Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, from a performance perspective, you always know what you're in control of, so you don't have to quickly move around live and, and use your device left and right buttons uh, effectively. You just know when you press that button, you're in control of it. Um, this thing though, this is a surprise for me of the year. Yeah, focus up on the logo at the top right there, you'll see something that's probably alien to most Ableton Live well, fruit, users. Fruity Loops. Fruity, it, it? FL Studio, I think they'd probably want us to it's say. It's very close to the aubergine emoji though, isn't it? Got to be careful with that. I'm going to make no comment on that, but mm -hmm, yeah. So, it's it's a cheap controller. It doesn't feel cheap, it's, it's in the kind of the Akai case, um, recognisable from the APC, etc, etc. But a lot of buttons. There is a lot of buttons, and it's almost unique in that it's got 16 by 4 rather than the 8 by 8 paradigm of most of the other grid controllers. And when we first saw it, Stray from Native Control, who uh, he, he did work for Ableton, he did the Launchpad Pro scripts and that kind of thing, and he's the guy behind ClipX Pro, he said 16 by 4, four touch capacitive encoders, load of screen printed buttons, why don't we do something with it? And so we've built in a step sequencer. We've built in a note mode that has various scales. There's a drum mode with a couple of different uh, functionalities there, which that's 64 pads. I'm really bad at maths today, that's terrible. As and I understand, <laughs> you've always, overstimulation. Oh, quite possibly, too much coffee. And you've got performance mode. So you've got pretty much everything that the push does without the flashy screen and as the Akai guys said to us today they're actually doing this for around hundred dollars at the moment without Fruity Loops bundled in with it and the beauty of this uh, script is it also comes with the Max for Live extension which is where I'm going to hand over to Mark uh, I think flavor of the month is step sequences and particularly Euclidean ones yes, yes. You got it. boom Euclidean over to Mr Mark Towers so, as if by magic, Mr. Mark Towers is now going to show us the... Uh, so, what have you done here? What's, what's going on? So, yeah, as Darren said, it's already got the inbuilt step sequencer like you'd get with Push. But what I wanted to do was uh, include like a Euclidean sequencer. I think we had a few people get in touch with Isotonic who said, can you do Euclidean? Which we already had built into some of our other devices, like the arcade devices. So, because it has the Max for Live element to it, we can program something here. This is a Max for Live device, it's a Euclidean step sequencer, but it's all controlled by and shows up on the controller. So, you can have up to 16 tracks. So, I'm on this track here, which is the hi hat, and I can choose the length of the pattern just by using the buttons, or I could choose how many hits are going to be within that 16 step sequence. And the 
Euclidean uh, part of it sort of equally spaces all of the pits around. Yeah, ju just a quick recap there. Yeah. What, what is a Euclid? Just, just for those of us who are perhaps... Okay, uh, so if I go back to four. So I've got a 16 step pattern. Yeah. Uh, so there's two numbers you need. 16, which is the length of the pattern in steps. And then I've gone for four hits. And what it tries to do is it tries to equally space the hits apart, equal as possible. If I had five, for example, they are equal, but then it starts to bunch them up towards the end. So its job is to try to make them as equal as possible. So it's sort of almost algorithmic sequencing to a Yeah, degree, and the right? reason people like it is um, you can generate quite a lot of different rhythms just by entering those two numbers. How many hits in your pattern uh, and, and the actual length of your pattern. Uh, this makes it really quick and easy, just a little bit of button bashing, and you can get all those kind of patterns happening. Uh, ah, OK, right. Uh, the other thing we've done is the velocity. So for this one, if I put a few more steps in there, and then we have a velocity pattern generator here where we can morph between different sort of velocity patterns oh, you're doing that on, on that. here. And you get the feedback showing you which, uh, like red for high velocity, white for low velocity. Uh, okay. And we can choose the range as well. So if one is before, we can kind of loop over. So you can Euclidianize the you control. Euclidianize the, the velocity, which oh, is separate yeah, okay. to the drum hits. Yeah. Man, okay, yeah. so this is a Max for Live uh, device that's available via Isotonic Studios. It will be coming out very soon, yeah. And uh, I guess it'll be competitively priced. Oh, of course, yeah. Reasonably, yeah. Reasonably yeah. priced. Yeah. Thank you very much, Mark. Thank you.